Hi everybody, welcome on in. Today we are walking in Playfield and it is HOT, hot. If you are new here, don't forget to click on the like and subscribe where I walk around different areas and you will not actually, I was going to say you won't believe me, but you will. <laughs> I've done a bit of research, well, just a smidgen. So this is Clayfield. I've never driven up to the end of this street and it actually leads down there to a park which is really nice. There's a few cricket fields and everything like that. So if we have time, I'll take you past there. But check out this house. I actually saw it on the net and you guys, and you know that I always put the links in the description box. There's a bit of traffic in here, but check out this house here, 133. I was expecting to see an old house. So they've obviously done it up because that was bought for 651,000 in July, 2015. Now it would not be worth that. So obviously someone's seen that as a good buy. And you can see down here, at the end of the street, so we're on Park Avenue, down here, Kalinga Street, that's the back of the park there. So it's in a really nice, leafy, green area. Check out this beautiful house. So let's go for a walk, see what we can find. There is a cafe. This street, it's a very long street, so it wouldn't be quiet. There would be a bit of through traffic and we'll probably see that as I'm walking. It leads up to Eagle Junction which is a railway station and there's lots of buses obviously near a bus route. So we'll just see. It's unusual how they've got the red and the stops here so it does indicate to me that there's a lot of traffic. So we'll keep walking. We'll go to the end. I don't know whether I've locked my car. <laughs> there's nothing that they can steal besides my car or a few coins so we're looking for 123 this is 123 this was bought this was just recently sold actually in October of this year for 1.37 it's a four bedroom so that gives you an indication of a recent sale so it's up there it's not cheap it's not a cheap area nothing's cheap nowadays with COVID Everything's gone mental, which would be really interesting to see how these videos progress over time. You know, is there, is there a crash headed? Is things going to go up? Who's to know? Not everybody who moves to Brisbane loves it. It is very hot. There's no big employment companies. But with a lot of people working from home, maybe that's not something that's needed but then again how long will people work from home is it something that companies are going to continue with like that's a hard one to say isn't it a hard one to say so again it must be a busy road because i keep seeing these pedestrian walkways to slow people down for driving out which i don't think i've i haven't walked on a street yet that has had that I'll walk up. You hear the AMSR underneath my feet. So it's 50% humidity here today, so it is quite hot. So I've got another 86. You can hear the wind chimes. There is an app if you're new to Brisbane. There's a new app that you can download. It's called Send Soul Snap. And you can take a photo of anything that needs fixing or needs the council's attention. It's a really easy way to notify council of anything. So I highly recommend if you do move into Brisbane, download that app and just snap away. You know, look at these old big houses here. Look at this house all decorated. It's lovely, it's been lovely at night, at the moment. So we've got the bus stop here. Look, it's got a little Santa stop here. It's very cute. These are the type of things that you would send to council because long grass, vermin, you know, so 
you don't want any snakes or any creatures coming out of that grass. So we'll keep walking down a little way. There's a little shop down here. This is a really long street, as I said. I don't think I'll be walking to the end. We'll see. It's not much, It's not a pretty, pretty street. Can't see much. Probably because these are all the corner blocks. It's magpie. It's on 63, so the numbers that I've got a, that I took notice of, they're all from 120s, 130s, 140s upwards. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just go down a bit further, cross the road and walk up. And don't forget Queensland, there are areas prone to flooding, so it's something that you always have to look into when you're buying. So you can see down here, you know, that would f flood. And it comes quickly, you know. If you see the Turnbull Shopping Centre, you know, you can go out, go in there, see a movie, and the car park can be under. That's how quick it can happen. So there's a beautiful house here. Number 46. And then we've got the mixture of the old. Well, actually, this street isn't as long as what I thought. We've got. We will be able to get to the end of it. There's an older one, number 44. A lot of pre-war homes. Check out this one. Not loving the mustard. What do you guys think about mustard houses? Yeah. I don't know. I think I love the white and greys, but people will be saying that in a couple of years, won't they? We all go through different trends. walk up to the top. At the top, as I said, is um, the railway station, Eagle Junction. And there's also a Goodwill shop, which is always good to look into. Salvation Army. It's been raining and hot here, which could be a reason why a lot of the lawns aren't done. Look at this mailbox, isn't that a beauty? an older house. It's beautiful. So you always find something precious when you walk around and this is what I hate. I hate to see older houses. Look at that big block there converted into units. I don't think that I allow that now. I think because it was happening so frequently and you have beautiful houses like this that are then taken over by you know, 12, eight houses. Now, this is something that I wanted to see. I'm glad I walked up this far because I wanted to see what it says. Now, I noticed when I was driving down, it was on this, this fence. It says, Save our streets. The Brisbane City Council has released a proposed concept designed for the North Brisbane Bikeway, which will have an impact on the way everyone uses a number of our streets. These plans will affect you. Loss of 70 car parks, removal of green space, unnecessary lighting, shared of road use, loss of quiet streets. So they're wanting to not have a cyclist way. <laughs> so God help you if you're a cyclist and you cycle down here. But Nobody likes change, do they? Hey. Nobody likes change. To me, having cyclists and walkway sounds like a positive thing, but it's not impacting me. I don't live here. So there you can see that beautiful house. You get to see things a lot better when I cross the road and look opposite 
as I said, it's not a pretty street because a lot of the houses are on corners, which means that they belong to the street to the right or the left. So as we walk down here, we'll walk past this cafe. I will be quiet once I walk past. I hate people knowing that I'm videoing. Are you like that as well? Beautiful houses, old houses here. But as I said, it is a busy street, eh? There is a few cars here. These old wood fences, a lot of people are replacing them with PVC. We did this and they look beautiful. So we can see across the road, the mustard house that I pointed out earlier. They're coming down. Look how big this house is, number 45. Luckily there's a nice breeze, as I said it is hot, and we might be heading into water restrictions, I think our dam's around 43% currently. I think when I went there it was around 34, 38, and thank god there was a bit of heavy rain, but check out down here, I would not like to live at the back of that. <laughs> Just think of think of the mozzies and stuff. So this is a cute little cafe. That Minyo is his name. There's number 63. Number 65. You guys enjoying this walk? I don't know how many steps we've done. I haven't done any exercise since this morning. It says I've done 3,000 steps so far. I didn't go on my morning walk this morning. Instead I did a yoga, YouTube yoga. Hello little fella. It's the guy that was across the road. This is a big house. This fence goes all the way. That's a big block. Shall we have a look at the front of it? It's built up. Okay, this is Milman Street. Shall we go up and have a look at the front of it? I know you want to. So, number two, Milne. Oh, there you go. I'll walk up and around. So, there are older houses here. Look at the grass, how well it's kept. These houses will be around the one sevens. Sorry for the wind, but I'm enjoying it. Look at this old one here. Number nine. And then you've got this old one that's getting renovated. So what they do is, if you've seen a few of my videos, they lift them up and they put all under. Can you can just hear the train from here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk up and around. I haven't got any information about these streets, but they're so wide. So Clayfield's obviously an older area. I do put all the information about the suburbs in the description box. Look at this old Queenslander. And that you can see. See how that's open underneath? Then they fill it all in and make Yeah, you definitely can hear the trains from here, but you can't hear the aeroplanes. So that's one good thing. But you got the, see you got the beauty close to the city. Don't know why my Apple popped up wanting my password for my Outlook, which is weird. I've got to check it when I get back. So many passwords and so many apps today. I'm trying to be, be a lot better and 
cut everything down so there's a nice one done up and I really love the wider streets that have these trees look you've got someone put a little fairy garden there swing not too sure what this street name is but we'll get it as we come around yeah it's a nice well looked after area this side wasn't expecting to see a lot of these older older houses to be in such good condition there's one across the road there but I can't video it because people are leaving but 7 Lewis Street so we're now in Lewis Street Clayfield if you look on the app I will add any of the links and see all these they're either green ants or cicadas so here's one that hasn't been done up and as I said I can't go back there's some new ones that have just built across the road so as I said it would be interesting to revisit areas such as this like to come around and see what changes are made how things are developed over time You know, even a lick of paint and garden can really transform a house. Also, people that are getting older, some of them don't look after their houses as good as they could or maybe they've been neglected for other reasons, money. So you can really see, see this house here on the corner we walk past? That's Nelson Street. So that's a typical Queenslander. But it is, it does look like, and I'll put the percentages there from the Bureau of Statistics, we'll talk about who's owned, who lives here, whether they have children, it gives you a rough estimate. And we've just filled that in this year, so maybe it's looking at being updated or not, I'm not too sure. So here's another beauty. Gregor Street but I guess you can't get away with rattly cars and people driving around it's all right during the day I guess okay so we'll come up so you can see how big this block of land goes back all the way and this beautiful big property you can only see the roof That's the one that was sold, that we pointed out earlier, that we just walked past. It's just been recently sold, just here, 123. Park Avenue for 1.3. As I said before, this is the PVC replacement. People have been replacing their wood with this. Lasts a lot longer, cheaper, easy to install. Doesn't need painting or maintenance. So we'll keep walking up. So 133, yeah, that was, when you look at the link, you're going to die because it doesn't look like this. 133 was bought for 651, as I said, in July 2015. And it looked nothing like this. So go down in the description box, click link. Again, if you're new here, don't forget to click the like and subscribe. They put a nice pool in, deck in. They saw the value here, that's for sure. So, what number is this one? If this is 137, I haven't got any information about that one. But I have. For this one coming up 141, it was sold in 2018 for 1.7. So it's big money, beautiful home. 1.7 and I'm not too sure what number that is 138 was bought in February for 1.5 and they're fully pulling it down check it out so that would be interesting to come back and see how that ends up and this one here looks original 149 was bought so this is good it gives you an a honest price here 
1971, sorry, 1985. So this is before the um, before the properties, before the property boom, because that was probably 87. It's got bock, bockle nets here. As I said, it's got cricket, there's a park, but that one that we just went past, the older one, it was bought in 1985 for 71,000. Now that's not cheap back then. You know, it's still a good price for 1985. So this is Kalinga Park. So I'll just take you up to, to the exercise area. Hang back, Queensland Rail Access. So yeah, you've got nice, nice area here. So this is my, must be what they're trying to add the bikeway on the road here that we just walked down. It is quite a wide road. So that's that house there. So you can see, you can see the cricket. You can see the train track. Exercising anybody? Tennis courts. There's another cricket place up here. And we'll just take you through the gates. It talks about the historic park. I just didn't want to stand there before there was a young kid standing there at the, the gate so but that's interesting about that house it's been demolished isn't it so that was just sold in February for 1.5 and it's completely guttering it that was built in 1920 which means they have to keep in with the theme they can't pull it all down I think they have to keep the same facade so it's quite interesting how much they've actually pulled down unless that was an extension built later after the house. So you just see what this says. Erected in commemoration of those of the district who served in the Great War. Erected by the residents of Kalinga. So it is beautiful, isn't it? Beautiful gate. So that would be interesting to come back and see this house. Hey? I'll walk. goes back a little bit so as I said this is Park Avenue guys Clayfield so thank you for watching if you'd like to know any other areas let me know this one here as I said 141 just sold in 2018 for 1.7 so take care bye